What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Shane's talking about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here again today. Now, a tweet from Monkey Paw Productions has gotten everyone in anticipation, got everyone's eyes peeled, given what the tweet stated, uh, in regards to the release of the uh, pending, soon to be released, second trailer for his film coming out in July, or that's supposed to be coming out in July. So uh, the tweet from Monkey Paw Productions said, looking for the second Nope trailer, keep your eyes peeled. So then everybody started thinking, this was like less than a day ago at this point. Everybody was thinking it was going to come this morning, it's going to come sometime this week. I'm going to say, yes, it will indeed come sometime this week. I'm betting it'll be tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, it can still come at any point in time this week, or it could be something from next week. We don't really know because they didn't say when it would be coming. They just said, keep your eyes peeled. So we hopefully will get to see another look at the film, seeing more of what people saw at CinemaCon regarding that new footage, getting all the confirmations that we need about it being an alien invasion based movie or having some type of alien invasion influence. But the other thing I want to talk about was this image that was shared by, uh, I think it came from Fandango originally, where you see uh, Kiki Palmer's character looking out a window in what I can only assume is the Hayworth house. But the details about the house are what is intriguing to me or interesting to me. And I think I touched on this briefly in regards to another video where I talk about the things you can expect to see in the next new trailer from what we saw at CinemaCon or what was shown at CinemaCon if they included in this new trailer that's coming. This these like there's like dried up stains on their on their house. If you look at this image, the dried up stains seem to be just blood. Because I think in one in one of the descriptions for this trailer, it mentions that blood is dropped onto their house. Or something like that so that's something to expect also it's not even that as much as it is this is the second image where I've seen something that screams dried up blood on their house the other one is the one where you have Kaluuya in the center while Kiki's character is in the background and their house again when you look at it looks like it has dried up blood on it almost as if blood was dropped onto their house where did the blood come from we can only assume it came from the alien spacecraft the other thing i want to touch on before i get into another thing so that a lot of you probably can start also avoiding certain things is a description that someone took a screenshot of of a conversation they had on reddit with the same user who was making comments about the test screening they were at but they went into a little bit more in-depth conversation of what they thought about the movie with them and then this got shared with me so i'm going to just go over what it says here on in this video with you guys so when asked about if the movie was good they responded with it's all right i guess nothing too crazy i think i was expecting a bit more of signs kind of movie from the trailer however it's very much not focused on aliens but a ufo alien ship with a mind of its own it hides behind clouds and sucks people up the cut we were shown was very unfinished and i'll be surprised if it's ready by july a lot of the vfx specifically in the sky which is pretty crucial to the film was unfinished and looked goofy as hell this hindered my experience a bit because it made some intimidating suspenseful moments look funny and also prevented me from understanding what the intended look of the big bag ufo was meant to be the cinematography was good but nothing special score was good but also lackluster in some parts because we're told it is also unfinished overall this is jordan peele with the last amount of stuff to say which i don't mind at all but the simple story is also bogged down by weird pacing where the film actually tends to drag and a particular storyline involving a character backstory backstory never really meshed with the rest of the film all that being said looking forward to seeing the finished cut when it releases i can see this film being heavily altered between now and then now the biggest thing that was interesting with that screenshot was how they talked about it's very much so focused on a uff or a ufo ship with a mind of its own and it hides behind clouds and sucks people up now that's what we've seen from the trailer so far but the other thing that i've been told apparently about this movie is that there is an alien presence that you will get to see in the movie people who have just been to these test screens apparently have seen my videos and they've decided to reach out to me to confirm certain different things now this person is saying that the presence is really more so the ufo more so than the aliens but i've already been told by someone else who apparently saw this movie at another test screening that the alien presence is going to be known you're going to see these aliens and you'll get to experience what it's like with the characters as they are becoming i guess involved with these otherworldly entities but we'll see what happens because honestly it sounds like there's a bunch of different cuts being shown to people at this point 
the unfinished vfx seems to be the consistent thing a lot of people are already dogging the movie they don't think it's good or they think it's bad the other thing i want to talk about really quick is that yes the plot has actually managed to leak online now i say this because of the fact that it is actually out there on reddit so i would avoid this nope subreddit for all of you guys out there that don't want to have your movie spoiled or have the movie experience spoiled for you the other thing though is while i haven't read it this seems to be a copy and paste of what i've already also seen leaked on on twitter so i recall there was somebody who had seen the movie apparently i guess at a test screening they started sharing spoilers right after the test screening happened over on twitter so you might want to start taking those precautions already to kind of have things muted uh start restricting certain terms so they don't come up in your feed but the official plot itself i guess if you want to uh take this with a grain of salt you can but if you want to just take any and all precautions there's a plot that has leaked out there that's being spread on reddit and on twitter i haven't read it in depth but i've noticed a couple of key words that pointed to the fact that this is the same exact thing from what i saw over on twitter so if you want to avoid that take everything you need to in terms of a precaution stay off of the nope subreddit stay off of certain things with twitter start muting certain search terms because the spoilers have already started despite of course the movie not being released until july i've also been made aware apparently that there are some delays with this movie that have been going on not for the states just yet but there are delays that have been going on i guess this has to do with of course them wanting to finish the vfx and make sure they put out the best movie possible with the finished product so hopefully we don't get any delays from the july date but it seems like that's of course something that's still highly possible with the other dates being delayed so we'll see what happens with this movie when it releases and how it ends up being and what the movie reception will be for everyone that goes out to see it i'm still looking forward to the movie i can't wait to see it definitely want to see what jordan peele has to say this time around even though it seems like a lot of people are, are confident that there is no social commentary about it what i do think there is is going to be something that's very minor in terms of another social commentary aspect even though it's not on a scale of get out in us let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limited any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video